listening to the Sneaker Rocks. Oh, shit, I love it. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Detroit is definitely in the building via your headphones, stereo, and speakers. Of course, this is your man's The African Caesar, host of the Sneaker Box radio show slash podcast uh, on DTLR Radio and on Sneaker Bar Detroit. We are live in the podcast Detroit studios. Um, and, of course, I'm not here by myself. I am joined by the contrarian of the show, Gino. Yo. Yo, yo. Man of many words. Uh, the Googler, Francis, is not here today, or he's not here yet, so I don't know. Maybe he might make, make an, a prompto appearance. Here, uh, I'll pop up Google. I'll be your Googler today. All right, bet. <laughs> and then uh, we have the artist formerly known as Rejuvenator right here, uh, Jumpman Boston. <laughs> I was going to say, hey. take on yourself already, man. <laughs> Damn. Dang. He laughed at it. Get over it. God, you got to laugh to keep him crying for sometimes. Man. Nothing to cry about it is. You almost had to stand up to reach that. Oh man! Uh, and <laughs> you you own one this morning, or this this evening. And then uh, lastly, we are joined by the north star of our show, uh, Guru. What's up, man? Recipes, Nipsey Hustle. All yes. money in, no money out. Sounds yep. like our crep deal. <laughs> yes, we had no luck with sneaker cleaning. <laughs> yeah, I, I just not gonna clean my sneakers no more. They're gonna stay dirty. Hey, Dawn dish detergent, Todd. Hey, back go. when I was twelve, <laughs> back when I was thirteen years old, I used to use you guys. Holler at us. Water. <laughs> Holler at us, man. Hey, it sound like it sound like, sound like a cheap Captain Planet. Like Ty, uh, dish detergent, water. Captain Planet was that dude, toothbrush. Man. That's all you need, man. You know what? Somebody sent me. I, I don't know if somebody sent me the meme or just tagged me in it on social media, but. uh it was uh, it they kind of spoofed Captain Planet, but it was like Captain Coon, and it had like all the people that be cooning like on media, like mm. uh, what's his face on uh, Speak for Yourself, Jason oh, Whitlock. Jason Whitlock. Oh my goodness, this uh, is, that's, that's King. King. What's King up, Cooner. Stacey Dash? That's, oh my goodness. Like yeah, that was just <laughs> and like a real raccoon. They put a raccoon over Captain <laughs> Planet's face. It's terrible. Yeah, and we, those oh, people man. are actually still in the trading block. So any other ethnicities, if you still want them, we can work something out. Trade them. Trade, get, wait, wait, hold up, time out. Trading block. They already been released. No, no, no we got to trade. We got to. <laughs> no, get some we I'd rather. Some I'd rather. No, have because a team they use their skin them. color. They use our skin color in our plight to get to where they at. And once they got there, they turned on us. So we got to get something for you. We're not gonna let you walk. That's the easy way. Well, we got to get something from you. No, well, we or oh, they use that black. Blackness as credible yeah, sources yeah, of yeah. like information. It's like nah, yeah, right, you so look black. We, but... we taking Baker Mayfield. Nah, we we'll, we can take a, who else we can take. I'm Arthur taking Luka Doncic. You really? This is yeah, not the way I flashing. thought I'd start the show. Nah, by the way. Nah. He, he flashed. He come off like he got a little. You know. Mm. I will say this: if Dave Chappelle contributed anything to culture, it was that skit. That skit yes. will live in yes. infamy. Well, we got Dirk because Dirk wife is. Yeah, yeah. I'll take Dirk. He be taking them to. You got them to go plates. Yeah, I would say. We trade Stacy Dash for Dirk. Yeah, we can do that. That was easy. That. That was yeah. easy. I think mm-hmm. we. <laughs> Man, that's all it took was yeah. one movie for her. Yeah. Herm, that's Herm it. McCain, <clears throat> I could take him for. We got Joe Biden. Actually, no, actually, this is what we'll do. We'll he get, in charge we'll right get him Herm McCain. <laughs> that's, and, that's even more so why we got him. Herm yeah. McCain and, J- and uh, Jason Woodlock for Kyler Perry. I mean, John Kyler Perry. And uh, so we need one more. I, I'll take Adele. Joe. Adele? I'm just, that's the, I don't know why that just came to my head. I was like the first random Adele do got soul. She do sing with soul. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Adele. Yeah. That seems like a nice tray right there. Okay. Uh, huh? Christina Aguilera is like the the Caucasian Keisha Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I would trade Stacey Dash for the cast of The Office. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> the cast of The Office is not officially black. Yes. Uh, Trade Stacy Dash for a bag of Skittles. Man, real talk. No neither. <laughs> for a Red Cross. Well, we sandwich. already we already got Marshawn Lynch. He come with Skittles, so we don't need that. True, that's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, make sure to follow us on social media. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at TSB underscore Radio. You can follow us on Instagram at the Sneaker Box underscore Radio. You can follow us on Facebook by simply following. Or looking up the Sneaker Box Radio Show page. And uh, make sure to call in to our show every week and talk to us on air with your comments, sneaker comments and questions every week from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time by dialing 248-579-5295. Um, I guess we can get right into it. Um, this is our Fab Five sneaker releases from the previous week. Fab Five. Fab Five. The Fab Five. The Fab Five. The Fab Five. The Fab Five. 
Fab Five. Top five, top five, top five. I saw it in my dream. <clears throat> well, you know, I, I kind of messed up here. Uh, kind of want to tease some things we're going to get into. Uh, Phil Knight tries to sell us on his reasoning to back the Kaepernick campaign last year. Um, yeah, like, come on. Uh, like, I guess you had a year to kind of make up a reason uh, other than the reason we already know. Uh, Matt Powell shakes his fist at Klaus and says why he wouldn't sign uh, Zion Williamson if he were Nike. Uh, I got some one star sneaker story up reviews, including one where a store employee vomited on a customer. Yeah. And then, uh, Michael Avenatti tries to outdo Jesse Smollett in the dumbest crime of the century competition. Um, why you would try to blackmail Nike as if they ain't got like a hundred lawyers to eat the case. I don't know. I mean, somebody, I mean, we always want people to tell the truth and go and get some machine until they go and get some machine. They're like, hi, what were you thinking? Well, somebody got to. Well, there's a way to do it though. Like he wasn't going against the machine. He was trying to get a payday for himself. Say somebody got to be the martyr. Like he, he's not a martyr. Michael Avenatti is not a martyr. Yeah, because yeah, he could. This is the same guy. Well, this is the same guy that did won a lawsuit for a guy, and then told that guy that he won the lawsuit for that the money didn't come. It did come. He spent it, and then said he would loan the guy that he was working for the money, and that he could pay it back whenever. Can we get him on our team? Because that sounds like something we would do. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> Stacey Dash for him, too. Uh, that definitely sounds like a black move. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Michael Avenatti was not trying to blackmail Nike because he was so interested in the players getting paid on the table. He was trying to get paid. He was trying to get well, – we'll get into the story later. But uh, anyway, uh, all right, so the Fat Five sneaker releases from the previous week. We have number five, I think, is the KD-12 90 skit. I am indifferent to that shoe. I'm interested in seeing it though. I want to see it in person. Like I, I haven't. I think the only review video I've seen on it is uh, Jock Slade. Them KD, them, them KDs are tight. Like tight, like tight. Fit? Yes. Oh my goodness! Tight. Just when you think you couldn't get no tighter, like tight. Cause the KD, what's the ones he got now? What's that? The eleven? Oh, well, 11, those, those are tight. 12. Yeah. Those are tight. Well, I was gonna so, say because what that? Uh, I didn't know that required a lot of thought trying to figure out what number came before twelve. But. What? I'm saying what shoe he was on. Oh, I wasn't thinking about the twelve. We didn't think about the shoe because his shoes are just terrible. All of them look the same, so I didn't want to say the. I mean, well, they, these finally. Jumpman shaking his head different. like nah. These finally look a little different. These actually. Yeah, these do look, look like different. The, they kind of remind me of what was that? The KD, what's that? The two, I think it is. It Honestly, looks like, I it looks like I a hyper red without the strap. It I can't like remember anything before the four. The strap. So now they're gonna start bringing the the swoosh back on the shoes now, right? We had them on there. Didn't it wasn't on the twelve, the elevens. Yeah, Where? it was on there. Where was it at? On, on like it's, the inner foot. It's on the uh, inner side, medial. I mean, foot, but they putting it back on the side panel. Yeah, you know, so. Like, with the black y'all, do you like them? Back in the day, like the Blazers. With the black you know what I mean? The Yo, big, the okay. big swoosh. Right, the right. black one have it, though? Yeah. It's, I believe so. Yeah. It's uh, it's gray. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You ain't feeling no JV? Nah. They're not going to make it to the basement? Oh, no. Oh, by the way, they're not the basement of the Jays anymore, right? It's, it's just, just the basement. basement. It's the basement. Because he has more than Jordans down there, though. Okay. Got Pumas. You some... noticed that. You the first one to Yeezys? notice. Yes. All right, come on, man. Well, I mean, I was just you know he got like Yeezys. He got like a whole Stop shelf it, dedicated Connor, to Yeezys. Connor, shout out to Connor. Glad to see he's doing better. He's the only one that ever made it in there with him. <laughs> Besides that yourself. was a problem. Oh, no, bro. Never. <laughs> you never, you never sure you, you sure you didn't make him take his shoes off before he like stepped in? He, only That's reason what made, it looked like in the video. Only reason he made Connor take his shoes off because he wanted to put them on. That was it. <laughs> Y'all wear the same size. They wouldn't even, no. they wouldn't even fit on. That's my, how much he loves the shoe, though. <laughs> his shoes wouldn't even fit on my hand. Jordan, still, I mean Jordan, Jumpman still got baby shoes. Speaking of which, you I see, got C's to... broke out his samples before you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a... that couldn't help us so. Couldn't help us right. And that's, that's what I told. I said, I knew yeah, going to do it. I'm at work. You know what's funny? Because I was at work, <laughs> bored to tears, and I get I see that I get tagged in something. Jumpman, I already knew it was gonna be something. <laughs> I look at it. And he got a sample pair of a uh, flight uh, Jordan sixes, flight jacket sixes, um, <laughs> which are dope, by the way. A yeah. dope show. I'm surprised you didn't have them. I th- could have swore you had them nah, before. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, you have them by this week. On the way from my buddy. And shout out to the USPS. So I ordered a pair. Remember those Iversons I said I got last week? Mm-hmm. They shipped them somewhere DC. 
I'm following the track, and I'm like, Washington, D.C.? Like, why is it in Washington? Which, which Iverson? The Legacies? No. The, uh, oh, uh, the Anson Wines. The Anson Wines. The, the Red Joints. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm following the track, and they came from Phoenix. And I'm like, okay, so y'all passed Detroit to go to D.C. to come back. And you see so sneaker now, kind going to D.C. We got to hit D.C. Yeah, we got to go to D.C. We got to yeah. go to D.C. by far. I got to yeah. go to the African American Museum. Last time I went, they were still building it, but... um yeah, for anything, I got to go there for that. Um, I'm not even sure I'm going to go to the event anymore. Okay, you know what? Since we're on, I know I got to get to the Fab Five real quick. It can wait. Yeah, I know. We we did it like an hour in last week. We always do this. I know. Um, so, SneakerCon. So, I posted something about um, the time we went to L.A. Mm-hmm. And we had that women's panel. Mm-hmm. And I guess this was like, I guess I hadn't mentioned this before, at least not on social media, maybe on the Don't show. Don't tell me they stole our idea. No, no, no. They, um, they will. Though. They probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be surprised if you see them do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, I brought up the fact that we had that women's panel, and because Crep was all in their feelings, like, oh, my God, this woman sells cleaner, too, and we cannot have this. Uh, they made – remember that? Yeah. They would. They told – because it was a picture of me and Jumpman with Evie yeah. Kicks, and yeah. then it was, like, a picture of the panel, and they were, like, tripping over the fact that we – posted this chick as if we were promoting her. Now, here's the funny thing about E.B. Kicks is she knew... First of all, you see the banner in the background. You see the huge Crep logo in the background. It's like the size of a human body. Yeah, so, if anything, she could have been harming her brand. Exactly. And she was respectful. If you go back and listen to that show, she didn't even mention her brand. Like she, like she, It was more about women's experiences and things, how they saw it as far as being women in sneaker culture and being women collectors. It had right. nothing to do with promoting EB Kicks sneaker cleaner, which by the way, you know, I'm not against doing because once again, there's Crep and then there's EB Kicks. Like for them to be yeah. threatened yeah. by that'd be like Michael Jordan being threatened by some guy playing on a on a playground. Or or Curry or uh, Under Armour mad that Curry has to wear Nike jerseys with his Under Armour shoes. Like, yeah, bro. it's like you know, it's come on, man. And socks. And socks. <laughs> yeah, it's like, bro, like it was so stupid. Yeah. Like honestly, like I remember it was a two hour ride, so we had two hours to like mull over this, this, this. Uh, I guess controversy that crap was, you know. Yeah. And I, I don't understand how you could be that big and be that big of a company. Uh, and be that insecure. Like, I, I just don't understand it. And like I said, to me, the bigger thing was trying to put a spotlight on women. And this is before everybody thought it was fashionable. Now, now this year it's fashionable to put women on a pedestal, you know, and I know we get accused of being misogynist, but you know, we was trying to show love to the ladies and give them a voice because we all got up from the table. If you look at the picture, none of us are sitting at the table. The only dude there was White Ranger, but that's because he had to, you know, check the sound and stuff. He enjoyed, no, that's he enjoyed it, that. That's because it was a women's oh, yeah, you know, that's Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, I mean, as if we had to, like, we honestly, we probably had to, like, pull him. But we were the first to we're do a lot of, of things we were. that people are doing now. If yeah. you look back, you see. Yeah. That. And so, uh, was that my phone? Wow. Anyway, um, we did this panel, and like I said, I thought it was dope, and I just... You know, for crap, all that talk about, you know, the culture it is and blah, blah, that, like, they don't care about that stuff. At the end of the day, it's about their product, it's about their company, and I guess that's how most companies are, so I guess they're not different in that regard. But um anyway, I posted that. Definitely agree. Yes. 100%. And so I posted that picture. EB Kicks, I guess I had never told her this story or she was unaware of the story, so her and her husband hit me up. They left me a, a message, and... um you know, appreciative that I posted that. They didn't know that that happened. So, you know, they were appreciative. Come to find out, SneakerCon banned them from going to sneaker cons because they don't want any other sneaker cleaners there. So I guess that's if you're not bogus. a souvenir or that's a crap, so whack. yeah, you oh, cannot. Wow. Yeah. That's trash. Yeah. Wow. So I guess they can't, you know, you can compete. You can, you can have a million tables selling the same shoes, but God forbid you have more than two sneaker cleaners. In the same building, um, I thought it was, uh, and that's the politics of sneakers. Well, that's, I guess I can speak up on this now that I'm no longer a part of it. But they they doubled rejuvenators tables in price oh, really? huh. because they didn't want them to be a competitor with with crap. Really? Yeah. So they had to pay more. Oh wow! Tables too. Yeah. So, so yeah, crep pretty much. I mean, crep, basically, it's crepcon. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's CrabCon. <laughs> it's CrabCon. They yeah. own SneakerCon. Uh, yeah, Sneaker News crazy. and it's Crab crazy. own SneakerCon. For them um, to be struggling for money, they sure know how to use it for power. Yeah, that's all. That's where the money going to. It's going to DJ Khaled paying off SneakerCon employees and uh, putting Supreme Rap on Kaisa's car. So uh, <laughs> one of those three things is basically eating up all the money with all Chris of it. Yeah, all of it. All so. Of it. Um, mm. shout out to them though. You know, whatever. <laughs> I, I guess. EB, I'll hit you up soon. They get a tech. Yeah. And it's funny, man. Like, I, they sent me a box and I sent it back. Mm. Um, cause I was like, no, like, cause it, it was so funny. They sent me a box of cleaner and on the inside it was like, you know, shout us out. Use our hashtag. I'm like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> I was like, oh, all right, high. Maybe they just forgot to send that to you. Now. I was like, oh, like, sure. Maybe the drug laws are a lot looser in, over in the UK than it is over here. Well, I you would like, know oh. you've been, so you tell us. Well, nah, I ain't do it over there, though. How we know? I'm telling you. So why, why should we believe you? Because <laughs> they weren't going to let my black ass in or out. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get to this 5-5 five, five list. Uh, number five, we got the Nike KD 12 90s kit. Um like I said, I, I'm interested in that shoe. I would love to see it. You said it's tight. Um, yeah, the fit, the fit is awful. Like, cause I heard, well, I heard it's like a Chinese finger trap. Like that's the way Jock Slade described it. Like, and so yeah. I'm not sure not, you might just cut that shoe off. I like the, I like the look of the shoe. Yeah, I, that's what's like the cut. I like the fact that they kind of went back for his shoes to be kind of like a more of a mid cut, almost like a higher cut. Yeah, I'm interested to see how that upper, like, is there support on the heel and ankle? Mm-hmm, okay, for sure, because it just looks. It's loose got, up there. It's got great grip too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, in that slime ooze thing. Like, I mean, yeah. you know, growing up I in the nineties, like, you kind of. It's just if you got wider feet, you ain't getting that show. Oh wow. Uh, right. Not happening. Shout to Remember, it's, spe- it's specifically made for KD's foot. Quad axle. <coughs> flex yeah. wire for yeah, multi-directional made- containment on demand. Yeah, wow. AKA. It controls your feet. AKA, you ain't, you ain't getting your shit out of there. I love the way he nodded, like, it controls your feet. Wow. Oh, man. Uh, number four, we have the Nike LeBron Soldier 12 Fly East Bread. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I have nothing bad to say about that shoe. Uh, and that shoe was made for people with, um, I don't know, you let Betsy Devos have her way, that shoe wouldn't exist. Um, but you know, it's made for people with, with uh, medical deficiency who have a yeah. hard time putting their shoes on. So it's basically like you just slip your foot in. It's like LeBron, a super what? Fly ease. Twelve. The Soldier Twelve Fly ease. Um, black and red colorway. It's a nice colorway. You said yeah, Soldier, I, th- I thought so. You said Soldier Twelve. Yeah, Soldier Twelve. Um, I thought it was a dope shoe, and you know, hopefully, people are not buying these shoes up. Um. Like that, so that the kids that actually need them and, you know, the purposes that they were made for. Um, Shouldn't they be on Soldier 13s? Uh, what's the, is, has they come out with Soldier 13s? Well, I was just saying, like, because it felt like when Soldier 12s. Oh, like, they did come on Soldier 13s, right? They're on 12s. They actually had a Woody colorway. They actually had a Woody colorway, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah that was uh, cool to too, go along with the Buzz Lightyear uh, yeah. 16s. Yeah. That's dope. Um, I kinda, nah. I kind of like that. Yeah, I ain't mad at him for that. I like that. Uh, I don't do no no LeBron. That's definitely not in. The wait a minute. No, okay, let me ask you this: now, you, Do you not do LeBrons because you don't like LeBron, or you don't like the shoes? I haven't liked the shoes. You know, I used to have some LeBrons back in the day. Okay, but I, I used to do giveaways on YouTube back a long time ago, and I gave all the LeBrons away because I decided I wasn't going to keep collecting them. But right. I, I think I had like six pair cool. back in the day. Yeah, that colorway is dope. Oh, I like everything. Since, I liked everything since the tens, yeah. the thirteens. I like the look. The fit was just trash. Um, These almost dude, they run small though, from they, what I remember. Look, look wise, those, they remind me of Vic Those don't run. Those run wider because of their fly ease. Yeah, so you just go up a half a size on them. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I like earlier models. That's the ones I prefer. But, what are the twelves? Or just no, soldiers? like from the Zoom generations to. Ah. Got you. To the uh, maybe I should say sevens, the eights. The sevens. I feel like eights is like the elevens. That's when everybody trying to hop around. It's like kind of, how the Jordans, over, the, it's the overhyped, the LeBron Jordans models. eleven, twelve, and thirteen. That's when everybody really started riding the Jordan waves, and like the true people were there from the beginning. It's the same thing. With so when does it stop with LeBron? With something above what people don't really care? 
Well, he's still playing, so I guess. Well, he's no, no, still playing, but... No, I mean, it's, it's actually the other way. Like, yeah. before models, they don't really care about, like, the eights, nines, and tens. That's when everybody hopped on the hype wave okay. with them and everything. Because, I mean, yeah, I, 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 think from it, my, oh, I think it was, for me, like, I mean, I'd always paid attention to the LeBrons, but I know I really, really didn't start paying attention to them to like, the six. That's when I was like, okay, he's kind of he's kind of nice. And then it was, like, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... All of those, like, they couldn't go wrong. His shoes, to me, and I, they just look like bulky duffel bags, like, to me. It was, like, a bunch of buckles, and they just, I, I never, I didn't hate them, but I just didn't, they wasn't my cup of tea then, but no, I, I got to. Well, I, too, but that, before that, before the tens, only two shoes had the buckle, was the fives the five and, and the, the fours had yeah. the strap. Yeah, the other ones were just laces. Well, the other ones was just. The twos, the twos had, like, that cage look. So they had the strap, but it was a yeah. mid. It was like even, a low with the yeah. strap around the ankle. Because yeah, right. even the Zoom threes, like I'm like, I find myself like I don't hate them. Like if I find them for like at the outlet for like sixty dollars, maybe. But it's just I don't know. They just, like they have like this bulky look to them. That it's just and they low. Maybe if there's a little bit higher. No, them is, them is them high tops. Them they come they come above your ankle, like right above your ankle. No, the one thing I didn't care for for LeBron's probably up until what maybe the fifteens. Like no, oh, the twi- no, the, no ventilation. The thirteens oh, were man. the worst one. If they don't Dude, ever retro that shoe oh, again, you. I would be. Thirteens so was grateful. the worst. I that hated fit the was terrible. They had yes. co- dope colorways like the Friday the Thirteenth, but the fit was so terrible. He wasn't even wearing them. Then. No, Remember no, he, he didn't wear. He, no, he wore them surprisingly. I don't know how, but he wouldn't wear the Elevens yeah, because the 11s. he couldn't change the insole on them. The Elevens were cool, but the Thirteens were trash. The Fourteens were they were all right. I love the Twelves and Thirteens were. I yeah, love the twelves. Like I said, all of those, no ventilation. I love the twelves. The 12s are, I mean, they heavy too. That's the thing about LeBron. His shoes seem heavier than most other sneakers. Um, but once they got to the 14, 15, and sixteen, it was like, yes. No, I mean he LeBron didn't have like his streak. He didn't had a good. He didn't had a good streak in terms of like signatures. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's yeah. He's definitely on the. Yeah. Upper I trend. mean, you can you can tell they definitely. And I don't know if it's maybe a situation of him having input. But they do oh, I like take. I think so. Well, I'm saying like in terms of like, it look like they really do take time to make sure like they well, I think focus what, in. I think well because yeah. he's so he's so body conscious and wants to play with the crowd. I feel like he said, "I don't care about nothing being light. I want my shoes to secure me." And out of all the signature athletes, he had the least amount with. of injuries. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you know when Kobe, yeah, he hooped in the low tops, but probably with his third low top in, fourth low, he started having yeah, injuries. Yeah, KD yeah. once he kind of dipped. Well, granted, so he was it. getting older too. Yeah, so I just think that. He's I'm pretty sure when the tour is Achilles in the my times. <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. On I don't that, know. So. Get older, things happen, but um, yeah, I don't. Know. I, uh, let's see what the seventeens look like. I wish uh, at least they're not KD in them and just. I mean, the only thing, different. the only thing I'm disappointed with with like how the sixteens have been is they just kind of haven't. The colorway effort with the colorways is what's disappointing. It's I don't like even we, about the colorways. Like I don't know. Maybe they haven't. It's like they have. We're probably only maybe on the seventh colorway. The season almost over, and then they're gonna give us a Laker colorway in April. Like you went the whole year. Like the, like the one, what, like, color is it? It's, like it's gonna be purple. a black and purple one that's gonna come out. In like, like the April. one pair I'm kind of mad they didn't drop was the one that had like the look kind of look like the elephant print. Like it was supposed to be like the nine to the threes. The yeah, yeah, oh, that'd have been dope. Like why didn't they come? Why didn't they drop that? Should have been oh, LeBron, LeBron watch. As soon as exactly. he passed, him, he should have dropped. That should have been LeBron watch. watch. I agree. I mean, every, I about that. every single shoe he wore, I mean, technically kind of was on LeBron watch, but. Everything should have been on the brown watch. <laughs> this year, yeah. this year they made him wear some GR. He didn't get a lot of PEs like the previous year, like Miami years. He didn't wear it not. He probably wore a GR twice. But <laughs> <laughs> and that's the one thing Which, I do hold against under Jordan. Like you, the shoes you saw Jordan play. And you can actually go by with LeBron. It's when they were in the PE era, but it was a lot of like them was hard when he dunked on Jason Terry with the silver tins. Like man, why can't we get them? Well, I mean Jordan so, had a few PEs that it wasn't accessible. But for the most part, 90% of the time, the shoes yeah, Jordan no, yeah, wore, you yeah. got to buy. Yeah, Sometimes you had to wait until the following season. Mm. He would wear them a little early, mm-hmm. and then they would come out like the next I basketball season, next too. October, yeah. November. I was going to say, that's the other thing. Guys, no, that don't even happen anymore. 
And you they knew, drop twice a year. Because you knew All Star Weekend, that's when the new Jordan was going to come out. At least that's when he was All Star playoffs. Right. And I was like, oh, man, I can't you wait know. to see that new All Star regular season playoffs. Yeah, now, they, now it seems like, for the most part, they drop a guy's signature lines like either towards the end of the season or in the playoffs. It's all over the place. Yeah. Or in the summertime yeah. when the season's not even going on. <laughs> it's yeah. all over the place. That's, I feel like they did that because KD wasn't going deep into the playoffs and they kind of forget about how his season ended. They start pumping his shoes out early. But that's my theory on why. So what about these KD 12s? I mean, out. they just kept it going now. They ain't seen mm-hmm. him going sign with Golden State. But that happened. The finals after they lost to LeBron, they didn't get back. And yeah. then, so that's when they started pumping. Because I feel like the only one I th- Kyrie is like the only one that has a shoe that it comes out the same right time around the time the season starts. No, no, his shoe comes out in January, December because that's when Kobe and Kobe did it because Mike's shoes just drop that between that December and January, February. So that's why Kyrie shoes, he wears them in December and the first pair drops in January because Kobe did it and Kobe did it because Mike did it. Well, speaking of Jordan, uh, number three, we had the Air Jordan Retro 1 final. Uh, it's another shoe that like I, w- I kind of want, but like, only if I see him at the outlet. And I get, like, I'm not, I don't know. I just, part of me, and I'm glad I didn't too, because I was, I did have the money saved up to get those in the threes. Um, but then I saw those, um, flight ones. The Nike flight ones, the Orlando joints that came out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw them and I was like, but like, without hesitation. That's, it's a couple things I know in the sneaker game getting bad when I saw, for 170, yo. I saw flight ones <laughs> going for 250, 280, like 250 and up. You can't find no pair because I was looking for a pair. The hell? For 250, yes, bro. Yeah. That shoe, we was at finish line, the black pair went on sale for $79. So when I that, say, when it, when I it came, wanted all three colors. When it came out at that time, wasn't it retail 120? Yeah, so they was they was just, I think 120 and 140. That shoe I've seen, uh, Jason Kidd Flight 5s, you can't get them for Zoom Flight 5s, you can't get them no cheaper than $200, $300. I'm looking like what's the, what has the game come to? I especially work in retail. If that? I seen a shoe for sixty dollars and I see it online for like two fifty, I don't care if it's the only one on eBay and only one on Earth. I'm not paying two fifty. How many I've times have shoe. we seen that though? See where shoe. one a shoe that used to sit on the shelves? Like I mean, let's be honest. The first retro Jordan sat on shelves. But here I will. I'm, I'm now cool. they going for like I'm five, cool with that because like, now the demand is up. Yeah. There's no demand for a flight one or a Zoom flight five. So there's no reason why they apparently should be going for there this. is. No, they just doing that just to direct, direct the game. Like yeah, I agree with you. Overpricing. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I was going to say, see exactly what 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 are them. Uh, <laughs> Them, uh, them, the medicine ball, uh, trainer three is gonna retail for. I couldn't drive. find no trainer threes for under 200, dog. I'm looking <laughs> like, cause medicine. I want the horse ones. <laughs> when they, when, like I said, they, they gonna kill them. Yep. I said, they're gonna retail those for what, 200? The yep. air trainer threes. And I'm looking like, this is just ridiculous. Yeah. Some of this stuff and I mean, and I mean, for the most part, I don't remember anybody buying any Bo Jacksons other than the trainer one. No, nobody bought the trainer. I'm looking like, really? Nobody bought I was looking for some too. I was looking for some Bo Nobody Jackson. bought trainer, trainer, trainer twos, trainer threes, trainer 91s. I'm looking for those in those Barry Sanders joints. Or very center joints. Yeah. I, have, I think I might see one on your sides because I was looking for up here. Cause I'm going back because I got my list. I'm going back for like 90 shoes that I wanted. Oh, yeah, that's what that is. And those stuff is so the, terrible. Yeah. That's what I'm definitely doing. That's the only way to do it now because, I mean, when you got Jordan 1 Phantoms. <laughs> yeah, out. I was like Jordan 1 Phantoms or those Flight 1s. I've been wanting those Flight 1s since the day they came out. I wanted that, the blue pair with the blue, gray, and white pair, and then yeah. the black pair. Yeah, and they was dead stock. I'm like, I'm gonna think is how do we get Zoom rookies twice before we got a penny three retro? If you ain't ever said anything (laughs) right on this show, it has been that. Like (laughs) I'm telling you, and I'm still mad at myself to this day. I had a chance. I want maybe I was it the Soul Collector ones where it was like the blue suede upper with the black foam. That's a house of hoops. Okay. I had the opportunity to get them for two hundred dollars, and I didn't. I kept passing on them, and then eventually somebody bought them. And I, I'm telling you, if, that, if I had a regret to this day, when I'm a hundred years old on my deathbed, that's gonna be one of my top five regrets. A sneaker, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna be, <laughs> gonna be laying there. His oh, kids, hey, look, his grandkids gonna be asking him. <laughs> he gonna lean over. You start sound. You start sound like the people we talking about. <laughs> And I'm like, man, like, because you know, I, I love you know the Penny Three. You know and he gonna, he that gonna, was a hype beast comment. Yeah, he was gonna, yeah. oh, he was gonna cry too. <laughs> oh he was my gonna God. cry. Like, a hype beast comment. I was like, man, I wish I, I could have got, got Supreme the Supreme head, man. I could have got the samples too. <laughs> no, the Penny Threes was like, I love the Penny Three. 
for whatever reason, you know how sometimes you tell yourself you want a shoe, but there's other shoes you want more, so you keep passing on that one shoe, and then it's end up, it ends up being gone by the time you yeah. really want to go back and get it. That's yeah. what happened with that. Cap and gown. Yes. <laughs> I, and I've seen a few pairs, too. Like, I'll be wanting to, I be wanting to call you and, like, send you a screenshot until I see the price. It's like, you get them 13s. Get them Cap and gown 13s, oh, Jimmy. Man. Oh, man. Somebody already posted. Oh, only, oh, skip goes high. Oh, man. There's yeah. only one. Cap and gown. Yes. <laughs> it's the, it's the 11. 11. <laughs> But they butchered. That my 13. thing is, they could at least put the hologram on That's no, what I was about least. to say. That looked like a, they look, I've never been to, I never thought the day with the GR started to look like the fakes. From yeah. 05. Wait, wait, wait. From that, a, I could, that Orlando Pack 7, they what? originally wanted to come out with. No, no, no. I'm just talking about okay. the something like oh, some of the, yeah. Out. Like okay. the, even the Ray Allen 7s, which I like because I might get it because I got a Ray Allen Those jersey. look kind of fake. Oh, you mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They you, look, mean, you mean the, the, the Buck Raptors? <laughs> yeah, them, I'm like. <laughs> Buck Raptors. <laughs> the Toronto Bucks, man. I just like. Back when they was both terrible. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, Carl, that's, the, that's what the. Why could you the O one semifinals? Why could you, you, you give us the leather ones? Or how about you give a white us a, pair. a Ray Allen sixteens? Or them or the Mike Bibby low top se- uh, seventeen lows? Like it's so much. The Derek Anderson, the le- like it's so much you could. You know done. what? Especially the Mike Bibbies. Or you, you that's you could, one they really should like. Or you could have. Or you could have. What you could have did? Because there, I feel like as a young dude outside the Jordans. The Darius Miles and Quinn Richardson, what they was doing and with the Clippers oh, yeah. when it was wearing all them Jordans, bro. Like you could have get made a nod to them, bro. If Double you had hits. came like a white and red, a white navy and metallic red sixteen, you know how hard that would have been. Or the clip, or the nines. Like it's just so much disappointment, and opportunity in it. But when you see this stuff and what they could be releasing, man. Yeah. Uh, number two, we had the Air Jordan Retro Three Tinker Air Max One. Them boys went away almost immediately. But they still got some sizes it's up, just not my size. Yeah, yeah that's yo, a, it's my four, size I think was it's, gone. It's a 14 on there, squeezing Man, it nah, up. Nah, nope. Yeah, they, them boys was out of here. Um, I was kind of on the fence about that until we got closer to the date, and I was like, I'm definitely getting them. Um, yeah. and, and it's funny, though, because all the swooshes that they give you, it was a white 3M, elephant print, and red. I like the red one. Out of the four, which I thought I wouldn't because it was like, all right, like I wanted to kind of break up that color yeah. scheme a little bit. Yeah, but with your choices. Yeah. What, what Which one are, what's, what's the other one you going to go with? Like you, you wouldn't have I much guess of a you could go with go white or the 3M. Uh-uh. But I don't know because it was such a basic colorway too. That's why I was on the fence about it because it was so basic. Like you look at the original Tinker 1 or Tinker 1, Tinker 3, you know, it was kind of like black, white, gray, red. And so it was like color blocked kind of cool in a way that you've never seen a three really and uh this one was just like kind of basic i think the real thing they i think the real selling point is the swooshes on there that's it yeah that's the only thing i mean i which is kind of childish when you think about it it's like but yeah it is what it is jb you getting them no (laughs) he didn't even look up he was just like nope no sir so if you were hanging off a cliff and the Tinker Threes and the Yeezy. See you later. Oh, wow. you but I did talk to, to the original shoe chef who did the excellent elephant print painting in that uh, dark blue on these boys here and added the basketball on the back of the heel tab. Wait, hold those up again. Are those the white ones? These was the customs I had done for my college days. Man, those are sweet. Okay. And he got us. He actually added the basketball onto the back of them, so. He so, hooked, hooked so Jordan him. Brand, if you ever wanted to hook JB up, he already got it set for you. Too yeah. old, man. I'm, man, I'm, I'm, lo- I'm losing more than I'm getting. Ooh. Aren't you the same age as Jordan? Yeah, same birthday. Too Two old. days older than him. I mean, at least you had more options than we did on your shoe. Ooh. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. yeah. That's why I guess what you got doing this nigga game. Take matters in your own hands. Well, I guess. Yeah. yeah, and then get your <laughs> ideas taken from you, hunger room. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no, how many times they gonna come on? No, 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 no. I think that they they robbed you. Oh yeah, man, for real? Yeah. They, 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 oh, you a royalty uh, uh, right. You was guys. right there on campus and got robbed. <laughs> yeah. Guru could be a sponsor for the show forever. <laughs> yep. Sponsored saw, by Guru. They saw that the day you designed it. So, oh yeah, we gonna make this come out. They came out that show at different times. <laughs> they made that dark. They they blew out that midsole. Changed the lace <laughs> eyelids. I said you was like they Virgil Abloh. They just took everything and yeah, just recreated it a million times. Damn. You just made some designer look oh, they, good. I, they can't wait to see you come back then. <laughs> like, oh, guru coming back? 
Yeah, cool. They got that Birdman hand rub mm-hmm. going like that. They're going to have my hand rub too. Boy. They still, <laughs> they going to have cameras above your table. Oh, and everything. Man. oh, yeah, don't colors right there. Mm-hmm. Let's make that palette right yo, there. Yo, yo, your best bet is to go and just don't say nothing. Mm-hmm. Just, be, just be mute. Don't design nothing. Don't touch I, nothing. Uh, I, I'm going to say something about what should come out. He's going to go in there like Bird Box, just mm-hmm. blindfolded. <laughs> well, don't, don't tell him what should come out. Yeah, tell him what should come out. Give them no, some I'm garbage. Saying, why can't we get such and such and such and such? Why why are we having you gonna wait? You gonna like uh, No, you should give them ideas like the garbage they're coming out with now. Like why don't you ask them to put a, a 360 bubble on a Hirachi? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just terrible. It's just they did, it, they did it. They did it to an up tempo. Like why we can't get ginger keep it going. Six, ginger sixteen. We talked about that at the restaurant. Ginger sixteens. <laughs> hey, where my cherry was at? Sixteens. Hey. Again, the, the I, UNC I, Lowe's. They set the stage for that with the navies. Like I it was th- right th- there. I, I thought they were gonna continue, like, but yeah. How hard is that? And I'm like, if you can sell those, because honestly, that wasn't even the best colorway of that and, show. And the Stealth 15 sold well. So why didn't you follow up with the Flints, the White Navies, or UNCs? Just bring back that college pack. Well, number one, uh, and I think this is the number one show of the week, uh, the Bodega Special Edition New Balance 997, No Days Off. Uh, those, are, those are nice. Those are dope. May out of what was to choose from, yeah. Yeah, I thought those were the dope. Hands down. Those are dope shoes. Uh, Bodega does a great job. Like, I love their collabs, and New Balance has once again been quietly consistent with not only the collabs, just with most of their lifestyle shoes. Um, I feel like because when it comes to lifestyle shoes, they only got like eight silhouettes, so they have to give you a lot of options. Man, they got like 800 silhouettes. I was going to say, plus on top of that, that's that's their niche. I'm talking about the lifestyle shoes, like far as no, I mean, 997, 998, I mean, 574. You, can, argue, you I mean, can make an argument that, like he said, like yeah. that's damn near what they do is lifestyle shoes. You know, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they since their silhouettes are limited, they have to give you more options on the shoe for, oh, for sure. to stick out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's okay. what I'm saying. Oh. Got you. All right. Uh, Ugliest release of the week. We ain't got three different colorways. And I was Latitude gonna... Jordan, I, Jordan, Latitude Jordan 2019 for women's they ain't came out yet. They're trash. <laughs> I would agree with you. I would agree with you. <laughs> No, I'm about to show. Uh, shoe they're can't not even yet. come out yet. No, it's, already, already, it's already 2019 <laughs> trash shoe of the year. Uh, I'm about to show. I was, so this week, the, obviously the Yeezys came out. I'm not sure we'll forever make this list. Uh, but as, I, as long this, as you're making the list, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's two other shoes that I thought were even worse, and that's the Atmos Special Edition Reebok Mobius. This, this is the worst shoe. This is the worst shoe they have ever made. Oh wow. That looked like that, that's the worst. You know that looked like, like you broke your foot, but you still got to go hiking that weekend. No, that, that looked like a knockoff Roy Jones. <laughs> like, uh, this look like, this <laughs> looked like a, Har- a Harachi look horrendous. Air Force Max Barkley <laughs> Aqua Eight. This is not even a seven twenty. This is like a ten eighty nine. Foot cast. It's like a ten. It's like a ten eighty nine. It's like a ten eighty nine. And it got the fly swatter mesh tongue <laughs> thing in the back, man. It's the ultimate fusion. Are they keep, they they gonna let man? They will not let that. This is like go. Demarcus cousin had after he worked his Achilles. This is the shoe he had to walk around in. Man, that is, ooh. <laughs> this is the worst shoe. That's bad. We'll post it on the page, man. And you it's know it's gonna shoe. be some color. You know the colorway is gonna be even worse. No, mm. it look like what's that? But, the women, that's a women's like, aqua colorway. Mm, what? Uh, oh darn there! <laughs> Did you just get those? What? No, I've been had these. You're clean as hell. Yeah, I've been had these. You've been using crap. No, nah, I'm keeping the box secretly for, using. I, I told everybody I was gonna have, let y'all have the winter in this first part of the spring when the weather broke. I was gonna start breaking some little stuff out, man. Ooh, yeah. Sound like a threat to me. Nah, uh, not at all. But the ugliest release is between the Atmos Special Edition Reebok Mobius and the Adidas Crazy BYW Low, uh, Noble Ink Deepest Purple Core Black and Beige. And if those colorways sound like trash put together, it is. Um, some things just don't belong together. Like ice cream on a pizza, just don't work. Mm-hmm. Peanut butter exactly. and jelly, man. Peanut that butter sounds jelly. Exactly. that just made my stomach hurt. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. People yeah. eat ice cream. Look at this shoe. People eat ice cream with fries. I don't think that goes together. Oh no. Oh, you mean like how ice cream with fries? I've, you, though, I've seen so seen many people, girls see girls eating ice cream you know, with that's fries. All, that's all I've seen. I've seen people dip them in. Yeah, I'm just saying you've never seen somebody dip their fries and they frosty. Why you gotta bring up in and out? That's in and out shit. Why you gotta do that, man? Our fries are trash, so here's this ice cream. Do that, man. <laughs> that's so terrible, man. I'm like, that's just come on, man. Oh, by the way, we gotta we gotta we gotta rehash we gotta rehash that story because it was on the episode that went missing. Oh yeah, fries. Oh, yeah, 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 fries. <laughs> do fries go with that shake? <laughs> that's an old mm. George Clinton song. Oh boy, boy, that's boy. It's too old for you. You don't remember that. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, JB, JB trying to get that in. Actually, out. to be actually, they was actually in. Remember the Ray Gun commercial for Nike had when they was playing ball in the uh, outdoor court? They had uh, Boosie Collins and all of them out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's Get little kid. Yeah. You got to be in the sneakers before 2013 to know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, coming soon, uh, there is the Stella McCartney special edition Adidas Alpha Edge 4D. Is that the same girl who divorced uh, old boy? I don't even know. Paul McCartney? N- no. Just because... I, mean, I, thought, cause I, would, he, I would like to think Paul McCartney is not the only one. Because I, I, I just remember like 50 Cent saying, oh yeah, baby girl, Paul McCartney got away off of one. Like, if she divorced him, took half his money, and she only had one leg. Hmm? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, that, yes, that, yeah. That, that, <laughs> wow. 50 pulls no punches. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You also have the Nike. Damn. You also have the Nike. I cannot recover from this. Uh, the Nike PG3 NASA Apollo missions. That drops this month as well. Uh, That's another colorway? Yeah, it's like white and gold. I mean, they're straight. Yeah, I, honestly, I like them more like, than I like the other ones. Man, it's but it's not plain. saying a lot, though. Yeah, I, yeah. It's extra plain. Exactly. <laughs> Jump in and pull out his 8-track. Uh, you also have the uh, Bape and Neighborhood <laughs> Special Edition the, uh, Adidas POD or Pi S3.1. Yeah, they could have kept them. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you even see the shoe? <laughs> I didn't see them. Them pods. Those yeah, trash. I say the pods. <laughs> like I said, just off the design. The it's gonna take a really shoe? dope colorway for mm-hmm. me to be impressed. Supreme has a Nike Air Max ninety five uh, collection releasing in June that will supposedly retail for five hundred dollars mm. each. So why crystals on them? Yep. Mm. Uh, we'll know who have those. Yes, the Vanta <laughs> Adidas GZ seven hundred boost. No, it won't be me. We know who will though. Oh, thirst trap herself. Uh, the Venta Adidas <laughs> GZ700 boost coming out later this year. <laughs> Thought- <laughs> Thoughts on this? <laughs> you react. Y'all funny. See, the you out. You out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. cool. yeah, you know what, JB? It made me think about them rollies. <laughs> <laughs> it made me think about them rollies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, dropped, he dropped me off and told me that. I said, what? I went in the house, almost grabbed my ski mask. I'm about to change my job. Thoughts? Uh, anybody seen the Nike React 2019? Mm-mm. No. I'm still reacting to 2018. <laughs> <laughs> It should have been that funny because we all saw it coming. And yeah, you gave it that. Yeah, it that, was, that was a fastball. That, that was good alley oop right yeah, there. Yeah, that was a fastball right over the plate. That's yeah, called teamwork. Uh, that was like that D Wade to uh, LeBron. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I'm like Dwayne Wade like this. Yeah. Uh, or like Cardi B and Bill Cosby. Me. Oh, uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, thoughts on the Pokemon Adidas collection? Anybody? Well, there you go. Um, all right, so let's get right to it. Phil Knight explains why he approved the controversial Colin Kaepernick ad. But isn't isn't he not a CEO? Isn't Mark Parker the CEO? Yeah, but he sits on the board. He still owns shares and stuff, I guess. But the I guess he's still like summers. he's like the Tom Higgins to his, you know, Michael Corleone. So. Uh, an article written by Bill Snyder for FastCompany.com. Nike co-founder Phil Knight describes the situation around the infamous Colin Kaepernick ad. Uh, Phil said that there was a certain amount of doubt at Nike when the advertising department showed the Kaepernick Just Do It 30th anniversary TV ad to him and CEO Mark Parker. Phil said that Mark looked at the ad and went, gulp. <laughs> like, I don't know. Why, why did he gulp? And who goes? Why like, do you why even put that? that in there? That just means that Mark Parker was nervous about releasing it. Yeah, he was worried yeah. about what his contemporaries was going to think about it. But go ahead. That just means this story ain't true. He made that up yeah, to exactly. make it sound realistic. Uh, yep. And I think it's true. I think he should maybe he shouldn't talk about it. Well, maybe that part is true. But yeah. I, from here, I think it gets a little embellished. Uh, the advertising department then said, well, here's the deal. If we're going to get this ad in time for the or if we're going to get this out in time for the campaign, you've got 24 hours. Uh, at that point, that is when, um, never mind. Phil said that he approved the ad and that part of the reason he took the risk to do so was because of a conversation he had weeks before with LeBron James. Uh, at the time, Phil was worried about his grandsons who were about to get their driver's licenses. LeBron confided to him that his sons were about to dr- start driving as well and that he was worried that his sons might get shot by a policeman. Phil said that he thought of the top hundred worries he had and that the thought of his grandsons being killed by law enforcement didn't even make his list. He said that that was a real eye opener. Oh, so all the dudes getting killed over the years. It took LeBron to say it for you. Okay. Uh, Phil Knight uh, grandsons. Can, are they African American? No. So, hold up. Hold no. up. Can, can no. I? So can how I call, does can it, I call the tech on the story like now? 
Before you even finish? Yeah. Okay. Come on now. Okay. So, not that I believe it, but I can understand. Where's LeBron at? Guru, where's mm-hmm. LeBron at to cooperate the story? You know they going to pay him. Here's my, here's my thing. How in the world <laughs> does a – this is me being serious. A black African-American kid has – or a Caucasian kid – has the same level of threat concerns with society as a he did. He, that's what I'm saying. He didn't say that. Well, he was saying like he was worried about his kids getting shot. No, Phil Knight didn't say that. No, he's saying no. He was saying that he was talking to LeBron about his grandson starting to drive, mm-hmm. getting their licenses. Mm-hmm. And LeBron said his kids were starting to drive too, but that his biggest concern was his kids getting shot. And so Phil said, "You know what? If I listed all my concerns, that wouldn't even make my list. Like that was something that didn't." Like across his mind, as far as something that could happen to his kids. But here's my thing, though. LeBron said that at a press conference at the beginning of the 2016 or 2017 season, mm-hmm. right after it was like a couple people got shot, he kind of spoke on it. Like that could have been my son. So he spoke about it on a media day, not this season, maybe two seasons ago, two three right, seasons right. ago. So LeBron had to tell you that because he said it publicly already. Maybe Phil Knight if you follow, no, was, was Phil moment. Knight cryogenically frozen for like the past couple years been. or something? Like, been Walt Disney. <laughs> I mean, LeBron's been very vocal about how society. I mean, I agree. So it's hard for me to believe that this so, is his first time ever hearing the subject. So. But uh, but anyway, um, as to the blowback about the ad, Phil said that he couldn't care less. Okay, so why did y'all just agree? So to then do that why are you? Time? So then why are you saying this now? Yeah. Uh, he said, it doesn't matter how many people hate your brand as long as enough people love it. And as long as you have that attitude, you can't be afraid of offending people. You can try and go down the middle of the road. You have to take a stand on something, which is ultimately why I think the Kaepernick ad worked. Now, I'm happy so they did it, so, but let's so not then, act like well, I got you. Hold on. So, so then. Mon- knock, knock. Knock, <laughs> knock. Who's there? Adidas. That didn't work for us. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was definitely going to say. So well, they would, tried it. Would Phil Knight have. Put that Black History Month shoe. Oh, they didn't try. That's the problem. They didn't, yeah, they, they didn't they, even try. They didn't even try. Two texts. But uh, would Phil Knight have said the same thing if, say, when the Nike shares dipped, that they stayed low? Say what now? Would he had said? Would he have made the same comments had the Nike uh, shares dipped and stayed he, low? He like didn't, how he he didn't did. comment. I thought it was a safe bet, though. He didn't comment on it until after the campaign ran and was successful. That's yes. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, say the campaign. That the night it really what was that the yeah, Super Bowl? If, if he would have came out with Colin Kaepernick like and people was mad like how dare you he was like man fuck you we ride with Kaepernick then then I then I be all all that right then I'm like okay but I'm get you feel but a, a you're right later? he's had like a year to kind of think about it and create like, this come story on, man um, now some elements might be true but it's just a little convenient for me to believe. Um, but but you didn't need LeBron to tell you, hey, I might be scared my sons get shot. You see what's happening in society. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, Maybe does, Phil Knight does doesn't he, have a TV. Does he? Yeah. Does he not own a television set? <laughs> I guess not. Does he not all own the a TVs radio? are in the lobby. I guess. No, no. We seen his office. All the yeah, his office. Oh yeah. Maybe yeah. he's oh, never yeah, there. I forgot his office. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Is he never his there? office is stupid. Mm-hmm. Is he never in his office? His office is like many other people's like a, offices. His offices is like walking into before you walk into a doctor's office. That's just his office. Like a, that's just the waiting he's, part he's, of his office. office. Yeah, that's like it. His office is sick. Like honestly, like I, I yeah, and, and it's funny because it's like in the black building, that big uh, Death Star looking building. No, it was in Design and Innovation. No, no, it was in the. Because remember, we were waiting in the lobby. That was the last place we went to. But remember, we went, we passed his office because we walked to the design of innovation to meet all the designers. And oh, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. I, th- I could have sworn. Yeah, because it- yeah, we walked past the office and then he took us into that big old open area. It was upstairs because. Oh, whatever the design of yeah, 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 that okay. was the design. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. People listening, like, ooh, Guru John Caesar went to his night. <laughs> but his office was sick, though, by the way. Like, it was pretty dope. Um, so, what do we go see when we went to the black building then? The black building, we That's just showed the, us. We went to that office. They had like a little shoe, I mean, like like a convenience store type thing in there. We waited because we was waiting to go to somewhere else because we had just came from the Coach K building. So he was trying to see where we were going. That was a long day. Huh? Yeah, it was a long, very long day. That was a long time. How much shit did we do yeah, that day? Yeah, so they will bring in yeah, walking shoes. This shoe, Man, yeah, we're wearing Air Maxes every day. I'm not even trying to stunt. Um, the uh, seven twenty up tempos. Man, yeah, I might have to. <laughs> so those shoes are terrible, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the air seizes. <laughs> they doing, they doing, they trying to be Adidas with the boost. 
Let's put 720 on everything. everything. Yeah. 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 They right. put on an Air Force One. This is my I'm done moment. I got like six of them already. I mean, that's basically what the Saturn <laughs> is. <laughs> the 720 Saturn is pretty much an Air Force One. Boost. I mean, boost. I would say yeah, the sweetest little. ones are the OBJ 720s that's coming out. Those are dope. Because yeah, they actually look, look to it. yeah, and it's, it's it look, look original. Yeah. Uh, Matt Powell says that he wouldn't sign Zion Williamson if he were Nike. Yeah, Matt anybody Powell, agree with that? Matt Powell say a lot of bullshit. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say like he says a lot of smart stuff and then he couples it with a lot of dumb stuff. Why? Um, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't but shout out to Matt Powell. He's out of my Basically, show. at this point, you need to get him back on. You signing him to keep him away from the other brands. That's what they did with Converse. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even say other brands, just the other brands. That's why I swear to God, that's why I think Re, uh, Adidas has Reebok just to keep it from Nike. Yeah, so I just think that. Can you imagine um, Nike had their hands on Iris's line? Can you imagine what they would do with that? <sighs> some sickness. Man. Now, I don't know, man, because some of the stuff we've seen lately, nah, we'll still, yeah, we'll still be true. crying for answer threes. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> 2K <laughs> be on their 40th anniversary. You like, say instead there? of throwing patent leather mm-hmm. on answer ones, they're going to throw suede mm-hmm. on it. Yeah. We're still looking for the penny. <laughs> and guess what? They, they're going to put. They're going to put the number one on the back like he wore with the Pistons instead of the three. <laughs> <laughs> instead, like they're throwing 45 on everything, man. Wow. What was his Olympic number? I don't know. Like three or four? No, I think it was like four or something like that. And they're going to throw that on there. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Would you wear Iverson's JB? Wow. I don't think so. That's can, a lot can, of thought. I mean, can you imagine how hard so. that would be for the 11s to come out? And then since Georgetown is a Jordan branded school, we yeah. actually get an Iverson like retro jersey. The Georgetown so, should have definitely been a high top. Yeah, those Georgetown oh, for sure. JB, you don't like them. You don't like any of the Iversons. Nah, not really. Let me the questions. Nah, huh. I don't like the look of them. Huh. Oh, I we brought this up last week. You weren't here. So I talked to the guy. Well, I talked to a guy that worked with the guy that created the Reebok question, and mm-hmm. he said the Reebok question was basically uh, their version of the eleven. But they took elements of the eleven. I feel like Nike should assign him. Who? They definitely should assign him. What he I was doing that Concord eleven. What same thing? What was was doing with I'm the? I'm trying to why they didn't. I think so, he wanted to sign with Nike. Yeah, they, but they didn't, didn't offer him yeah. what Reebok did. So he should have because like what, what, what Rip did with the uh, white and red fourteens, what Ray Allen was doing with the shoe he was wearing, like it was just certain shoes college players attached to. Like you remember that. But we gotta remember too though, Reebok wasn't as bad as they were. They weren't as bad as they are now back then. But yeah. what did they have back then before, before they, they signed them? Shaq like, left. right around that time, Shaq, yeah, exactly. Shaq was gone. I mean, yeah, Shaq, but it was kind of recent though. Like he was gone for like what a year or two. Yeah, but if he left, he's the biggest thing. Since I was gonna like, say, what other what other athlete mean, did they have? Yeah. And they still had like other shoes. Sha- like that's Sean the pump was still hot. Yeah, the pump. But they had Sean Kemp still. I forgot about Sean. Sean Kemp, Kemp was this, was this Cleveland last, Sean Kemp? Or he was got this? it. Was Sean yeah. Kemp Kamikaze Two was probably around the Iverson's first or second year, so he was there. But uh, oh, Sean Kemp's here. Yeah, Come that's over what here. I say like that. I ain't the self. I mean, honestly, Kamikaze Two was when he kind of blew up, right? When he's kind of yeah, that's big, what that, that was. Kind of we about didn't really finals. start to fall off until like the late nineties, maybe like early two thousands. That's they, what I say. Like they were about to. Know. If Iverson didn't sign with them, they were going to fall they off. Been, that, yeah. They would have fallen yeah, sooner. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But. <laughs> and they calling that Rip fourteen. That is not a Rip PE. It's it's a college shoe. Huh? If you look back at UConn, uh-huh. he wore the fourteen at UConn. But yeah, that shoe came up before that though. Huh? But that shoe came up before he went to college. So like, I don't know how they gonna. Like, it's hard to if tell. If it was me. a 32 on the back or if it had Agreed. maybe UConn on the tongue or something, then yes. But I, re- I like, I like the 14, but I remember him wearing, like I said, he, he wore the blue one. He wore the white and red one too, though. But he, the blue one was the PE that had rip, yeah, rip yeah, yeah. on it. The, yeah. the red and white one didn't have. Yeah. So why, didn't didn't so why are they trying to sell us a PE? Now they're calling it candy cane. Now they're yeah, they, they they reversing their story. Yeah, that's what it originally was, was called candy cane. It was always white and red. Like, honestly, oh, yeah, if they, if, like you said, if, even if they just put the 32 on the back, I'd be like, okay. I mean, I just want to know. So, for, who from Nike when they first like released the photos for it was running around calling it the Rip PE and then gonna reverse? That's, it. What, they, that's what they been, gave the blogs to say. And then when people yeah. started, that's what I'm saying. And the like, blogs be like parents, like, oh yeah, Rip Hamilton PEs. And it's like, <laughs> so don't nobody I mean, ever question. I mean, I feel like they just changed it because everybody was calling them on their BS for you know for that having like nothing. Because I know eternally here, I was like, these are not Rip Hamilton PEs. Why are we calling it this? 
Well, that's like Guru said. Well, that's what they're calling it. Or how about release the shoes that he actually you actually made for him that you can actually make money off? No, of. really, release his PEs. I have an idea for that. If a monster store opens, I have a great idea for that. They could definitely do those eights. I love how Guru yeah, just shamelessly you know. plugs and stuff. You got a store. I don't know. A know if I, I got to do that. I'm just tired of seeing things go like they go. And hopefully, the invitation is still open for me to come. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, okay. yeah, sweet. So, like, I was knocked out tired yesterday. Right? Nah, you good. Well, no, I girls got sick, so that's why. Hold up. Was he second option or was I first option? What? I touched y'all both at the same time. Uh, I just want to make sure I was first uh, that was option. That might be the most diplomatic answer he's ever No, given. I really did. <laughs> I, really I don't did. even believe that shit. I did. Yeah, I, I remember those. I remember those. I that's a real PE. That's a real PE. Yeah. Well, drop them joints. Uh, it's that's Jordan brand. You know that? Yeah, hold your breath. Stuff like that. <laughs> They're going to play in the wave pool at Chandler Park. <laughs> 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 you have to be fully trained to know what he's talking about. Is that even open anyway? Uh, I, I don't. So. Is it? Maybe I don't know. It lasted longer than I thought it would. Honestly, I, thought yeah, it I think be... every time they do open it, some by some black people do something, and then they just. I like, I'm like, nah, like I thought it was gonna be a one and done type thing, and then you're lasted. from the east side, right? Yes. Okay. How how is it being an east sider? I always wanted to ask about <laughs> Man, it's touch and go. <laughs> Mind your surroundings. Yeah, keep your head in the swivel. Yeah, I need to save this for the half and half. Yeah, but this is <laughs> <laughs> how is it being an east sider, man? It's, it, uh, listen, yeah, I haven't been. On the obviously, I don't live in the city the, anymore. Is that the black. gray cap, carbon it's, fiber? It's, yeah. Oh, okay. So that's but yeah, it was, always, it was always wanted to be there. I was going to say, that would be hard if they had the navy blue on the uh, on the bottom. Because you guys, air is different. Chandler Park, I'm telling yeah, you. Out of drive comes and turns to Whitaker and it comes back to out of drive, man. It's just so. Out of drive is the most fickle street in the history yes. of like streets. Take you from the east to the west, though. Yeah. If you know how to follow it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Turn out of drive. It, 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 it loop all sort of different ways. On Man. the east side, on the west yeah. side, is just straight money. That's why I said the east on side. On the west side? Yeah. yeah east, the east side is just different. Well, I don't know, because it does make that turn, and if you keep straight, you on another street. Oh, that's what you got to make. The, the sides go this way for out of drive. You keep straight, you on last. But that does it here, too, though, because it like turns yeah. like yeah, go Connor. It does. You go north, south, east, Yeah, it does all that. Yeah, it does all that. That. Yeah, I was just oh. wondering, man, because you guys had some tough high schools. I always wonder how are these on the east side. East side is crazy. You had to fight for I just shoes, remember fight for your shoes, fight for your life. Like yep. you just, this is crazy. I, uh, I went to a school over on the east side. I did school. too. That's why oh, yeah. I know them. Four years. Every, yeah. Which one you went to? I went to King M C program. Uh, yeah, I went to a school inside Persian. So. <laughs> you went to Persian. <laughs> It was a school inside of Persia. He was the Persian. Like, so, he was the Persian. <laughs> what is this, Ham Tramick? Like, what is no, this? Like, you a dope boy, uh, Ice Cube. Uh, but you was a dope boy. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate them dudes coming oh, out of school, man. They, was like, they had the best hoopers, but that was it. That was it. That man. was it. And I'm like, yo, some fun times, man. Those fun are times. fixed. Yeah, those those fun said, that's, like, that's where they shot Dangerous Minds at. <laughs> 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 the movie Dangerous Minds. Version it was, yeah. It was Fun always times. a fight at the school, too. It was always a fight. Always. You didn't even have to go to that school oh, to know it was going to be a fight. Kettering, too. They was having Kettering. a fight. Kettering was his fights, and then Finney. Kettering is where you went if you could not succeed at any other school in Detroit. That, Finney, that was like last time. That was like your last Finney, <laughs> Finney, used to, Finney used to burn a classroom every year. Yep. Finney, Osborne was bad, oh, too. Oh, Finney was bad. Damn, I Osborne, was Finney. Was, yeah. Osborne, Osborne was trash, trash too. Yeah. How many of those schools still open? Uh, they Finney clothes. Oh, no, no Finney, Kettering is closed. Finney's, Finney's Legends renamed it, and now it's very gentrified. You talking about... Really? Well, really? Yes. Finney looks like a school that should be in West Bloomfield Hill now. Seriously? Uh, yes. Oh, I, wow. dro- I drove by when I was going to my Finney used to look like a prison release. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my goodness. It looked like... It's like Harrison, that school over there in uh, wow. Bloomfield. Oh, wow. Yes, man. Yep. Okay. It's gentrified. They gentrified. I feel like I got to tour the city again. In that area? I feel, I feel like it's still like normal. I feel like I've never seen a high school gentrified. They took it. It's <laughs> you need girls running this ground. It looks like. <laughs> <laughs> especially, yes. especially a uh, DPS school. Yes, like. they Ooh. did. They gentrified it. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, they almost did it to King because King got remodeled and did. But like, yeah, we. I just went to King. Yeah, they they turned it back. Like, ha, ha, we still a, here. A friend of mine teaches there, and they had a uh, career yeah. day or whatever. It looked nice in there. Yeah, it really good. It real nice. It looked nicer than I seen dudes fight to. for that. I seen dude come from Murray, right? You get into a fight with a football player, and then he was like, "You do your boys jump in, we shooting all y'all." And they flash. See, guns. that's the thing I used to love about. <laughs> that's the thing I used to love about like the high schools is that you didn't even have to go to the high school to know what was going on at the high school. Oh, you found out. Yeah, it's like you knew before the end of the day if there's gonna be a fight at somebody else's school, and then like I remember people used to show up to see what was gonna happen. Mind y'all, this is pre-social media. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is, ain't even, this is yeah. before Facebook. Yeah. Somehow, word of mouth, man. 
So, uh, I'm going to bring this up for the second time. Hopefully, this makes the show. Uh, in and out. <laughs> in and out. Of Cut him up. Yeah, you get Cut a check for that. Yeah, in and out. Of <laughs> Both of y'all are sober today. No drinks. Uh, yeah, I know, damn. I know. I, I need my drink, man. I need something. In and out is Swimming Puma over the drive through. I know I felt weird for some reason. Uh, an article written by yeah, Eric, sober is feeling weird. Yeah, it is. Uh, in an article written by you, Eric Team, you're not for, about to go to work after this, are you? I don't know. My job, I have a desk job, <laughs> so you can go there drunk. I have a desk job, I ain't got to do. Shit. <laughs> That's why so many recalls on Chrysler cars, man. <laughs> I ain't got nothing, to yes, do. it does. You really watch what's going there. on. Yes. Yes. First of all, I don't go to work drunk. Yeah, I guess you do. This is against people from Chrysler. <laughs> you just cut them up. Right, yes, However, I have a desk job, like, I don't touch anything car. I, t- I work on the robots, the robots like do a, what. Are the robots drunk? The robots I work at, all they do is paint. Are they drunk? Are the robots drunk? Yeah. No. no. no the robots control the cars. They do. No, I work in the paint department, so all they do is paint the cars. So there you go. So if there's anything manufacturing-wise, you need to talk to a simple. Robot be painting the windshield. Yeah. There's no windshield in there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's the shop. Oh, you work at a chop shop. <laughs> 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 That's the east side of you coming out. I do. <laughs> So before Google gives anybody the wrong impression, the way it works is you got the body shot where the car gets welded together. So you put the, you so that's what it is. You so busy chopping up car, he's like, let me try my Jordans. <laughs> so the body comes from body shop. No, he from, is always able to snap a good pick. Yeah, the body shop comes. It comes from body shop. It goes through an eco process, chemical bath, all that good stuff. It gets this thing called powder coat, which keeps it from. Uh, rusting and whatnot, and then it gets painted. Then it gets sent to assembly, and then they put all the uh stuff under the wheels, the motor, and windshield, and all that good stuff. So, hmm. there you so go. the car looks nice before the blind people mess it up. Basically, it's the line work. <laughs> you be, mad. be mad at the line work. It's not that's that's a different story. But uh, the in and out is suing Puma over the drive-through sneakers. An article read by Eric Tain for SFGate dot com. California burger chain In and Out is suing Puma over two newly released sneakers that are seemingly inspired by In and Out's colors and branding. Uh, in a statement to multiple news outlets, in and outs executive vice president, Arnie Wesinger, said that Puma and designer Mike Sherman did not have the permission to use the company's trademarks on the new California drive through and Calio drive through CC sneakers. This includes any color designs and palm tree logos. Arnie contends that Puma intentionally confused customers for their own benefit and have also created the impression that in and outs trademarks and unique dress trade dress are available for public use. When Puma first released the sneakers, they came out and said that the release was not part of an official partnership with In-N-Out, but that the sneakers were inspired by the California food scene. Um, I would have told them these are inspired by McDonald's. That's all. I would have told them. <laughs> told them. See, Minus the palm trees. I don't know if the palm trees would have been. I mean, it's California. We don't got palm trees in California. That's true. True, true, true. Uh, I know Jumpman probably will get these shoes just based on that. Right? Negative. Mm-hmm. That's probably the first in and out thing you didn't buy. <laughs> now, I don't eat the animal style fries because I don't oh, like that. Oh my god, that's probably the best. I don't like eat that fries. Thousand Island mess. Just give me the regular no, I don't fries. Like they fry they bang out. I needed to catch up. Now what they did, I don't know how they pulled this off. They What's took that? the pictures at the in and out. Oh, did, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, you can always add a background to it. Oh, I see. No, that's on the counter, buddy. We know that. Counter. Oh, so how do they do that? <laughs> we know that. First counter. of all, they don't have no silver counter like that. Yes, some, of do. some of them do. Some of them do. No, no, Jum- no. Jumpman's no, been to every one. No. He knows. They have those uh, flamingo uh, <laughs> things on there. They had uh, we gonna say palm out. trees on there Man. on the counter. So they heard through them on the counter, took the sn- snuck that pick in, and then left? That's some bullshit. That ain't the real You know what's counter. bullshit? The that fries. ain't the real counter. <laughs> the fries are bullshit. Caesar, <laughs> you're not going to bait me today. I'm so. just saying, like, those fries you're is. Bait me today. I mean, I'm just saying. Like, I can name a million things better than in and out fries. They burgers are okay, just okay. It was better than okay the day you ate it. Because I was hungry. You got me hostage they do, on the they do, got silver, they do got silver counter, see? Oh, Jumpman don't know in and out No, nah, that's a fake counter. No, nah, that's a real. <laughs> I'm so looking at all the pictures. They got counter. silver counters. You know the stock X tag on there? The front of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is how in and out looks, and that's a silver counter. This is a, yeah, they took pictures there. Why? Yeah, I mean, I was I ain't eat for like eight hours, so yeah. I mean, I mean, they couldn't stop them from taking pictures in there. Their milkshake is good, though. I give them that. The best is that you said you eat cold grits. I eat cold grits, yeah. Before <laughs> you I eat cold grits, 
Do you I eat crazy cold grits. Nah, no, I ain't eating cold grits. Eating out fries, man. How many times also, you go to the I move my food or down. KFC yeah. wedges off the floor. KFC oh. wedges, they still taste better. That's the animal uh, style KFC wedges. <laughs> yeah, roach. Style. And I still said, and I since I moved from that, and I still said, I feel like Wingstop has the best fries. Mm. Wingstop has the best fries. Um, yeah. I like some good chicken. Yeah, the women yeah, that's some good, good wings. I say that. Friends. The fries are pretty good. Good, better food than in and out. That's what I'm gonna say. No, thank you. Can't uh, agree with that. Well, well. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Michael Avenetti, what? How much time you got? Because I really want to wait forty five minutes. Oh, cool. All right. Um, this Michael Avenetti thing is hilarious. So, Michael Avenetti has been charged for trying to extort Nike. An article read by Kathy. Irik Dow, <coughs> I know I felt about three names, so it's going to call her Cat Dow. For Time Magazine, high profile attorney Michael Avenatti, I might remember him as being the uh, representation for Stormy Daniels against Donald Trump. Um, but anyway, he was arrested and charged recently in a separate, in separate federal, federal investigations. So the Nike extortion is just one of many charges levied against him. Uh, but anyway, uh, including one that alleges he tried to extort $20 million from Nike. The U.S. attorney of the Southern District of New York said the charges against Avenatti and an unnamed co-conspirator, which I think they now believe is Michael Jackson's former lawyer. I can't remember his name. Uh, for attempting to extract more than $20 million in payments from Nike by threatening to garner uh, publicity to inflict financial and reputational harm if his demands were not met during a press conference, U S attorney uh, Jeffrey Berman said that Avenatti conducted an old fashioned shakedown tied to the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Allegedly Avenatti specifically threatened to hold a press conference on the eve of Nike's quarterly earnings call and the start of the annual NCAA men's basketball tournament. Avenatti also allegedly told Nike that he would not hold the press conference if the company agreed to pay $1.5 million to a client he claimed had information damaging the Nike. He also allegedly demanded that Nike retain him and his co-conspirator for an internal investigation at a cost of at least $15 million to $25 million. Prosecutors further claim that Nike, if Nike did not claim to retain the pair, then they must pay them $22.5 million to resolve any claims from the client and additionally to buy Avenatti's silence. So, yeah, he was doing it because he thought a crime, you know, he was just so about justice. Um, prosecutors also outlined the alleged timeline, timeline of events showing a graphic that stated Avenatti met with Nike on March 19th, which was my birthday, and accused the company of involvement in the basketball scandal, but wouldn't do so publicly unless Nike agreed to make multi-million dollar payments to him. Later that same day, Nike reported Avenatti's threats to the federal authorities. <laughs> like, as soon as they hung up with the phone with him, they was like, 911? Avenatti threatened us. Um, and that Avenatti had threatened them on March 20th and 21st, both privately and on Twitter. Why would you do it on Twitter? Like, why do people do stupid stuff on Twitter? I mean, they kept the log. Huh? They kept a log of everything. I know, but it's like, why would you do it? Like, it's a word. It start with a C and it end with a T. Clout. Oh, okay. I was thinking about another word. Yeah, I was thinking about that other four-letter word. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> right? I was okay. like, I'm like, how does that sound? I know. I was like, no, like you, you really switched your feelings on him. <laughs> no, like, no. You went from being a ally to a foe real quick. No. Uh, I not he appeared in court recently, where a federal magistrate judge ordered his release on three hundred thousand dollar bond. Following his court appearance on the extortion charges, Avenatti told reporters that he will never stop fighting the good fight. <coughs> Shut the hell up. And that he was highly confident that when all of the evidence is laid bare in connection with the case against him, that he will be fully exonerated and justice will be done. That sounds just like Jesse Smalley. Like, yeah, so once justice, they catch my attackers. <laughs> so, so justice in his extortion case. Yeah. Hmm. Justice, a, he's terrible because one thing we fear <laughs> is black people is getting jumped. And what you going to do, go get yourself jumped. So I'm done with dog. But he, it's hard for me to believe. First of all, if anybody believes his story, I could tell you the one thing you can look at and not believe his story is if those two dudes really did jump him, there's no way he'd be standing upright right now. Like those dudes are huge. And if they decided to really be his ass. 
I mean, they were they wasn't gonna they they had to like hold back a little bit because he had to live to tell the story. But that's so my point. Be, that's how you know he was in it. Like this yeah. was if this was a real jumping mm-hmm. where they really were trying to hurt him. Didn't they say? Didn't he say he had bleach board on his head? Yeah. Forget that. Forget all that. You know the best part about the whole. Forget all that. What black person you know gonna lay there with the noose on their neck to the police come? But why, why? No, he made it back to his apartment with the subway sandwich in hand. <laughs> why? Why wasn't his hair bleached? If he I, had bleach poured on his head, and, and you and you went maybe on he stage, had You went on there. stage, said your little Grammy. <laughs> you had your little Grammy speech. It is it is beat it right. They say you fought you fought back, saying you didn't do you the gay too. How do you fight back? Two Tupac didn't fight phones? back. Two he got shot. He couldn't fight back. He got shot. But my point is, how you <laughs> fight back with a subway sandwich in one hand? It was toasted. <laughs> <laughs> he treated that like an In and Out burger. I'm telling you. The- <laughs> in the worst case, he should have let it go. Oh, it's not there worth it. You go. It's not worth it. But uh, yeah, I- and the video, the music video he dropped around that time had him with a noose around his neck. And on top, I- I'm so interested to see how noose. this. It might have been a prop, prop yeah, noose, a reusable one. Here's my thing. I'm interested to see how this all thing plays well, out. Well, now it's like it wasn't dead stock, so it's now like being, if he tried to sell it, it's like uh, it's BNDS. Yeah. 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 Got this um, BNDS noose. Worn twice. Um, to, what, to, to one twenty five, best <laughs> offer. <laughs> right. Did they clean it with reshooting? OBO. Oh, uh, probably. No. Uh, but I will say this. It's interesting because, you know, he got off, which is a lot of dirty dice being thrown on that. So it'd be interesting to see how that all plays out. I mean, the worst he was gonna get was what ninety days in jail if that. If that. Well, he has sixteen. What sixteen felonies? I mean, if that's only what they rack up. I mean, sixteen felonies. I mean, they probably only what two's gonna stick. The police report. And, I mean, one felony is gonna get you more than ninety days in jail. Not nah, with, with the felony, the police report. I mean, it, it, he had that felony on his record, but he wouldn't have went to jail. They would have uh, knocked it down. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, plea yeah, bargain yeah. to some type of misdemeanor. Uh, sneakers helped tie man the theft of four hundred thousand dollar in Rolex watches. An article, an article written on the Niagara Gazette. Um, <coughs> police have charged a Detroit man what with stealing multiple Rolex watches worth hundreds of thousand dollars from an Amherst jewelry store. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Buffalo says that twenty three year old Devonta, man, these names killing me, Devonta Hill is charged with Hobbs Act robbery and conspiracy to commit Hobbs Act robbery. He from the east side. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's not like a west side type thing right there, nah, to be honest. That name, Devonta. Yes, yeah, but his family moved to the west side. Mm. He, born he was born on the east side. But he and was. west side people got a salary cap on what they can steal. Because if they uh, get caught, they, want, they prejudge their, their uh, conviction as opposed to. The east Hobbs side. Act prohibits robberies affecting interstate or foreign commerce. Prosecutors say Devonta uh, and three other men entered the Reed's Jans jewelry store in Amherst and smashed a display case. The four men then removed multiple Rolex watches valued at $400,000. Surveillance footage captured one suspect wearing bright orange sneakers. What? Uh, he had on them. Uh, if you about to go do a robbery. He had on them fly net force before they came out. <laughs> Don't trash. You got him early. Every last shoe in that pack is trash. I don't. The sevens and the fourteens, the only ones that's not trash. But everything else is the fourteen is beyond garbage. Yeah, the Jordan the sixes line. are okay. I like the sixes. Sixes are okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm calling on the FBCC Bay Area. I mean, you should call that whole pack then that. The FBCC Bay Area pack. <laughs> the okay, eights are terrible. The sevens. Ter- yeah, the eights are terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. The eights are terrible. They gonna crease like a well, mud. Of course, you're you gonna say the eights are terrible. No, I like the eights. It's just that no, crease. You... <laughs> I like the eights. I like the eights. You, no, you, be, you be switching. No. I like, never said I hated the eights. I didn't say it was my favorite. It was my favorite you know, you cause... But I don't hate the eights. I have eights in my collection. If I'm going to hate a shoe and then buy them. Because you That's... say that they rain I never. I could... Uh, mess with I, you. I, I, I do that just to mess with you. Just like how you just said you like the eggs right now to mess I like, with you. I mean, I like the eggs. I don't hate them. <laughs> I don't hate the eggs. Y'all hear one thing, I say another. Like, dude, like, right. I, I can't control what right. y'all hear. All I know is. So because like you don't. You so because you say. <laughs> so because you don't hate something, it automatically means that you like it. Ain't that the they that the other? It's like either you hate it or you like it. Like it's not. Nah, you be indifferent about yeah, it, bro. Exactly. You say you but I'm not indifferent. I never. When did I say? Say the only times you wear it is when it's raining or snowing. This, 
I said it to mess with you. No, I said it in on, jest. Bro. Come, come on, on, man. Come on. Come, come on, on dog. Like, if I'm clearly saying it, you've never, joke, but you've never ever worn them and not said that, though. I'm so always, what do I always say? I always say it to you. Wow. Techo sees. Techo, that's why the building works. <laughs> this work, though. Yeah, uh oh. Nope. Man, you nope. out the game, man. Uh, nah, whatever. <laughs> I, you know you what? 24 <laughs> game suspension. Yeah, I'll pull up the audio where I said I hate the eights. And don't, then buy I, no I will. don't buy no more eights. If, I, if y'all can put the audio. <laughs> don't buy no more. If y'all can put the audio where I said I hate the eights, I'll buy you a pair of shoes. <laughs> All right. I'll buy you the most expensive pair of shoes you now want. You just, how about you just give me them patent leather ones if I can find it? Find it. Okay, cool. You're going to give up the ones if you find it? Because it didn't happen. I was, if he finds it, are you going to give up the if ones? If you can find where I say I hate Photoshop eights. Photoshopped or not. If you can find audio where I say I hate eights, I will give you my ones. Okay. People out there in the listening world, help me find that. <laughs> I'm sure it's some footage Good luck with it. Um, Where was I? But no, yeah. out of that whole pack, though, I like, I don't know how I feel about the sevens. I do. I know I like the sixes. I don't think 3M mm-hmm. uppers look right on every shoe. Um, and then, like, going back to those eights, though, that that part of the toe is going to crease because that 3M material ain't the best yeah, material. Eights crease right there anyway. Yeah. So I don't know how they're going to work. Those fours are just trash. People no, who love the eights. I would that. never back off of that. That fly net four pack. He wouldn't know. That fly net four pack is going to be absolutely garbage. People are going to buy it. But why, though? They went with that color. Because it's like, candy cane. Why would you like, do they that? Gonna call that they, they, I bet you they end up being like the candy cane. Is it? They're going to call, call them like the fire hot Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> or the <is it> Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly Ranch 4. Like, that that, that should have been a women's pack. Mm. A women's army. Honestly. But why would you go with one color? Like, when you when they so do the fly net, is there, is there, they cannot do any other color? It has it's to be all, be all one color. Prone. That's it. But LeBron's, what's like, like, they've done it with, like, the LeBron 15. They, they have different colors in there. Doing too much work. I, take the okay. easy way. They out. could come with something better, man. Dude. Honestly, how about not do no flying shoes? Really or want. How not do no flying? Who's asking shoes? for that? That's the first question. Who's asking for flying Jordans? The outlets. <laughs> 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 hey, we get a little low on stock over here. Drop some GRs. Help, help us so out. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean tell me as soon as this release is, it's yeah, already going to be slashed yeah. in price? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it, it might as well. Yeah. <laughs> and shout, shout out to all my store managers because once the shoe touchdown is not going to sell, then you have to box it up as an RTV or an RA and you have to send it out. So shout out to y'all, man. man my prayers are with y'all. They just going to announce the release at just the store. I'm looking yeah, like, might as well. I mean, you know, you're the rumors. It's like, okay, how they going to do And the this? summer shoes, only out of the shoes, only one of them is really like a summer color. The yellow 14, everything else is like, it's not summery. And I told y'all this last year. Man. Oh, wait, by the way, is that upper in the 14s? Is that leather or suede? It looks leather. That's what I was going to say. It looks leather. Yeah. On oh, those reverse. Because the, the, yeah. the red ones, they, yeah. every, day you, every day you wore them, they had birthmarks. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and them hard right there. Yeah, I love those 14s. It's going to be probably super, super hard to get. It's going to be like an NRG, NRG. Yeah. Um, let's see. Going back to this case, though. Uh, so yeah, one of the suspects is wearing a bright orange sneak. Why? Why would you wear the brightest shoes in your collection to commit a crime? I don't know. Hype be stuff. Uh, police. <laughs> Swipe stole Rollies. Police in Ohio later searched the vehicle that Devonta was driving after a high speed chase. This guy, and found a gym bag with bright orange <laughs> sneakers. Uh, there's no word on if Devonta has posted bail. Probably. So why don't he just get? Uh, never mind. Some black forces. Uh, right, <laughs> you could. That's man, the Eastside yeah, special East Side, right there. Yeah, exactly, man. What happened, man? You ain't you, know, you ain't giving out no game. I told you nothing. East Side, from the West Side. Hey, uh, he's from the West East side. side. He's from the East Side. That many watches at one time. That's from the East Side. Mm-hmm. Not at all. How much time we got left? What time? Is it? Um, there was a story, um, or at least this review. And I, I didn't actually read it all the way through, but it was pretty lengthy. And uh, I guess it mentioned that somebody had gotten thrown up on. Jeez. Okay. Come on now. He'd have to get beat down in the stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, man, there's a lot of things that just automatic ass open. So this is the Nike clearance store in Oakland, California. Um, I don't know if Bay Area got so can confirm this story or not, if it's that bad. Uh, worst employee culture I've ever seen. We came to the outlet store to buy shoes for our daughter. And while shopping there, one of the female employees who was stocking the racks vomited on my girlfriend and two-year-old. Oh, yeah, that's an auto- uh, male or female. Uh, automatic. Nasty. Automatic right there. Mm. I'm surprised the girlfriend didn't just whoop on her. Intoxicated uh, at work. She's probably grossed out by it. Mm. 
She the probably t- saw something flying in four. She was packing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. So, this, <laughs> and her throat was 3M. <laughs> <laughs> you say you need to uh, throw up 13. Uh, uh, they took her to the back and offered paper napkins to clean herself. Oh, wow. She took a hobo bath. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what are they supposed to tell them? Oh, we got these, still got these fire hoses from the Civil Rights. So we got these crep wipes. <laughs> Wipe yourself down. Uh, just crep on your body. <laughs> <laughs> Throw up would fell right off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Slid right off. Oh, man. Um, she was turning a different color. Man, yeah. When she came, <laughs> when she came out, we asked Phil, we asked her to fill an accident report and waited. <laughs> And, <laughs> right, and waited a while until we asked again to Zabi, a Nike attendant, where is the manager? He walked away, not giving us any kind of notice, saying he is coming. Why are you standing up under somebody that's filling the shelf up above you? Maybe they were just sitting down. I don't know. Like, uh, but why would right. you sit there? If you see somebody is like standing above you, stocking something, would you just move out the way? Uh, I don't know. Nope. He walked. I just told you when I be at work, bro, I be bending down to pick something up. There'll it be a line of people behind me, bro. And I be turning around like, why don't you say excuse me? Or just say, let me squeeze by you. They just stand there until I get up. There's, people do stuff like that. Just He walked away, not even giving us any kind of notice, saying he's coming. I was speechless that he knew that my girlfriend just got bodily fluids. <laughs> bodily fluids on her, and he has no sympathy or concern. No. Finally, a tall black male named Thomas Coleman. <laughs> what up? How, how can I help? He got y'all? his full name. Sound like Jeffrey on the Fresh oh, Prince. Man. Thomas Coleman. Thomas Coleman, LP specialist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who claimed to be the manager? Can't speak to my girlfriend. He never even offered an apology. Nope. He attempted three times to collect her name that he kept misspelling, and went right to the chase, offering, "I'm going to give you a big discount. I was forty percent." <laughs> How about free? I know. I was flabbergasted by his lack of empathy. I intervened in a normal voice saying, are you serious? My girlfriend just got vomited on, and you want to offer her a discount and not even an apology? Yeah, sorry. Right. He interrupted me mid-sentence, raising his voice, yelling, stating that he was talking to her. <laughs> I said, excuse me, don't raise your voice at me. And he walked away claiming I was raising my voice. I said, oh, he, his spelling is horrible. I said that you're the one that started yelling when I asked you not to raise your voice. So now they, it's like that Spider-Man meme. Now everybody's yelling, but they're pointing at each other. Uh, I said, I want your manager's name and the district manager because this is not okay. He then proceeded to take the Asian parents of the two-year-old who also got vomited on quietly to the back. So another couple got vomited? Oh, Oh, gross. Projectile. So basically when she was stopping. Another two-year-old. So two two two-year-olds got vomited on by other people. By the she she moved her head downward and just let it, like. Just just started spewing on everybody. It was like, what was that? The, uh, not the omen. What was that scary movie when 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 they kept throwing throwing up on each other? Yeah, Yeah, yeah. that's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like, yeah. Uh, so two two year olds got vomited on by people other than themselves. It's amazing how this person was able to recount this story and type uh, it all out. I know, in detail too. Uh, a very nice lady named DJ came up and took my girlfriend's information and said that she would personally create the accident report and email to her. That is not something they can give to her. Then we looked at the area where the girl vomited and was only wiped down with paper towels and a Swiffer. <laughs> uh. They made no attempt to close the aisle, remove the product from the shelves. Oh, so I got vomit on the product. And they just looked at that. Gross. Uh, okay, so product from the shelves or mop the floor to safely remove the pathogens. Later, we fled a tall white woman named Mary, <laughs> tall white woman, who was walking by to ask if she can get DJ back to us to get rang up with the uh, handheld. I guess she <laughs> called over a young associate to help us, but realized we were not ready and had to go look for different shoes. We finally found what we needed, but couldn't find the same associate, but found another associate with the hand with a handheld name Tahaji. 
I, explain, I know he is very. Yeah, he remembers a lot of details. I explained we needed to pay and ask if he could help us. He said that he was told that today we are not ringing up customers on the floor. I explained that Mary had already said it was okay, and he informed me that Mary was the manager. I was like, "Great, you can ring us up, please." <laughs> he said, "No, <laughs> you ha- you could try to find the associate. She told you to ring you up, or find her, or have her help you." I am actually supposed to be helping someone else. I said, okay, you can call DJ on the radio to come help us, and became argumentative and rude. I told him that I didn't understand why if he says that Mary is the manager and she approved why I was being rung up by another associate and he couldn't just ring me up. He continued to argue. Well, like I said, since she didn't tell me to do it, I can't do it. (laughs) Or you can find the guy that she told you to ring you up, and I need to go because I'm not supposed to be helping you. What? How is he not... I, honestly, I want to see the audio. I want to see the tape on this because something tells me <laughs> that we're not getting all the information here. Uh, I need to be helping someone else. He finally made contact with DJ and walked away to the end of the aisle where I followed to become more visible. There I watched the, there I watched him go to the rack and put a sweater away and help no one. <laughs> <laughs> so he just went to pick up a sweater and just did. That, that would have been my move. Yep. It was apparent to me that this associate was only trying his best to avoid helping customers. DJ finally arrived, and while I was explaining to DJ that Tahaji had just been rude to me, he began to walk backwards towards us and cursed at me. Motherfucker! In front of my 10 and 12-year-old daughters and said, Hey, don't you curse at me! And he denied doing it only to walk behind me and face me in the aisle where he continued to yell and threaten me, making fists while I stood between both myself and my scared kids and my girlfriend. So basically, he turned his back, screamed out motherfucker as if he said it, and then yelled at him to not curse at him. Hold on, Tom, this is my question. This is the weirdest Wait, did, story. Did, didn't the two-year-old get th- get thrown up on? Yeah, where's the two-year-old? Like, all of a sudden, so he how has, did she get, like, cleaned? She got rolled out the script. It, it was like the, uh, you ever played The Sims? It was like she just, like, turned into a 10-year-old because at no point did he mention he had two other kids there until now. But I'm trying to figure out how did they clean her up if, they didn't have anything to clean her up, and it was. They gave. I'm telling you, they gave him some corrupt wipes and called it a day. Uh, and he made a fist. I don't. Know what, the, what is going on with DJ? <laughs> Black power. Uh, I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> DJ attempted her best to defuse the situation, asking him repeatedly to walk away in vain. He acted like he was. Oh my god! This is the craziest story. The most unrealistic. Story. That yeah. sound like it's made up. Yeah. The more it goes on. I'm trying. He acted like he was going to hit me and said, "What?" He acted like he was going to hit me, and I was like, "DJ, no! I'm not about to stand here and let nobody talk to me like he's my daddy." After several more attempts and him dropping f bombs under his breath, he walked away saying, "Fuck this." Ooh. I cannot believe that my weekend shopping at Nike, I got my girlfriend vomited on, oh. humiliated and cursed and almost assaulted by employees. Yeah. What about the two-year-old? Yeah, the two-year-old is nowhere to, it's never to be seen again. That two-year-old is still at the store somewhere. Damn. Uh, these employees' behavior is immoral and unacceptable. Nike, you need to do better in hiring and training your staff on how to react to hazardous pathogens. Well, first of all, cook on the hazardous pathogens. Is vomit. like Acting like you just sound smarter than what you really are. Um that's nasty. Yeah, it's pretty pretty messed up. Uh, I don't know, man. That's that's crazy. I need to see tape. I need to see tape of this assault, this situation, because, like I said, something tells me we're not getting the full story from yeah. whoever he's got. Sounds pretty fished. Yeah, very fishy. Sounds Sounds real pretty story. throw up there. Yeah. Um, and then, like, either of them the two-year-old ever again. Or, or the other couple, because I guess apparently she threw up on – his girlfriend, his two year old, and then on another couple and another two year old. So, um, wow. yeah. And then, and then she's nowhere to be found after he asked uh, for an accident report to be written out. Like, where'd she go? Yeah. Never to be seen again. It's like mm. they just all got like abducted, mm. abducted in plain sight. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Um, this is another review from that same store. Mm. Some workers in this place are fucking rude. It's <laughs> <laughs> especially. Especially this B lady, B lady. What's a B? What's a B black lady? lady? I guess. We Just say it. black then. Like, we can't like, like, like the he's couching names. it as if it's making any better. Is DJ and Tahaji in this story? I guess so. Uh, 
They only give disgust. They only give disgusting eyes to customers, even though they're asking for help. I'm sorry for Nike. I'm sorry for Nike Factory. Whoever is hiring these shit lazy workers, Rick in. Wow. Uh. Let's see. I get it. Everyone loves sneakers. Everyone wants the latest pair of whatever's heat at the moment. But you know what sucks? It sucks that we live in a world filled with fuckboys and hype beasts who make it hard for people like me to get attention in a store like this. Ooh. I know. <laughs> I've always loved sneakers. Back in junior high, my parents bought me never bought me the pair of J's I wanted. They bought me Team Jordans. <laughs> they also <laughs> or fusions. <laughs> they also refused to buy me superstars because Payless <laughs> had the ones with not three but four stripes on them. Could have got, got a case of this with five. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say right. <clears throat> now that I'm making my own money. It feels so nice to know that so my you days still are... haven't proven to me any credibility for sneaker involvement prior to you buying your own sneakers. She had flight forty five. So team Jordans. Yeah, that's I mean, what else you get right there. Yeah, you running uh, flight forty five. Jordan she, Fats. She, she rocked them without the Jordan crowd. One Fats and Alphas. <laughs> <laughs> she has to be young, so she ain't had no OG, like no Team Jordan heat. Like, the like you wearing the Fusion and, 13. Flight the pros. Mm. Nah, that's flat. You love sneakers. Uh, now that I'm making my own money, it feels so nice to know that my days of wearing Team Jordans and fake Adidas are long oh, gone. Fake Adidas. <laughs> uh, my cousin is a regular at the store, and they told me that this is where Katie and Steph – Curry go to buy their shoes. Oh, Nobody goes there. So, what are you so talking time about? Out, time out, time Shut out, time up. Time Shut up. Shut up. So Steph Curry goes there to buy to buy Nike shoes. Yeah. Oh my bad. This is prestige. This is at this point. Okay. My bad. This is okay. prestige. But even still, like they're not shopping them themselves. They send in somebody. They will get. The and KD foot is so big. Like. Yeah. And they getting on stuff for like. like That's what I say. Well, well, I got twenty. As if he well, has to shop for shoes. Fit? He like a seventeen. He got, everything got to be specially made for him. He got that hockey stick foot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they do, man. I got some hockey sticks in my garage. I said, "Dog, you like a right-handed stick." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said right handed stick. His foot turned this way. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you're looking like Happy Gilmore playing yeah. golf. I said, man, I'm uh, giving people five in the locker room with his foot. <laughs> yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> he also showed me that they have a pair of NDS offer tans in my size. We all know that those are very hard to come by, so I drove to Alameda. Offer tan was? I don't know. Oh. Did it say? Alameda to go and take a look. As soon as I walk in, I notice the store is packed. I also notice my cousin in there shopping too. But who cares about him? You brought him up. Like, I, mean, like, like, <laughs> I didn't care until you said his name. Uh, I tell him, move out the way, Brian. I want those Oxford tans. Oxford tans what? Bro? I know. I was, Don't tell. I hope it ain't no fours. I'm about to look up Oxford tans. That's what I'm about to look no, up. No, here's what I found to be upsetting. Ain't them fours? I don't know. Oh, no. It better not be the joint. <laughs> now, here's what I find to be upsetting. The people who work here have terrible customer service. I understand you're busy with lots of customers in your store. <laughs> but when someone asks for assistance, you shouldn't make it seem like. Oh, the Yeezys. The first joints. Oh, okay. Uh, She's about to probably pay her life for them. Yeah. But when someone <laughs> asks for assistance, you shouldn't make it seem like they're being a nuisance. And when it's your job to help them. As soon as I had seen that no one's willing to help me, I walked out because it shouldn't be this difficult to buy a pair of shoes. It's not. Oh, if you was in a sneaker game, you would have known that. Well, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> mm. you would definitely First of all, you just drove to Alameda. Now, I don't know where that is as far as relation to where you live. <laughs> Sounds far. But, yeah, I was going to say, if, like. If it's, you say it's sound far, but what if it's like 10 minutes from our crib? I mean, when you got to say, I got to drive to a whole other city. But you see, she's a king. Of, she's a queen of exaggerate. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, she's mad about the cousin she brought up. <laughs> Get out of my way, Brian. Get out of my way, Brian. Get out of my way, Brian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just. Oh man! I'm telling you, some of these. I mean, you know, I'm gonna spend more time reading some more reviews next week. I can't wait to go out. So, uh, we go out of town and go shoe shop. Like get out of my way, Brian. I'm trying to right. get Brian threes. <laughs> oh, this last one. <laughs> last one. This is for prestige as well. Greed would kill this business, and I can't wait. <laughs> that's how sneakers. That's how sneaker consignment yeah. shots make their money. A dude, uh, listen, why he's mad though? A dude offered me three hundred dollars for my white three fifty Yeezys size fourteen DS. But there then wants go, to sell them. Go, <laughs> 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 check this out. Check this out. What, what everybody in the secret community say? Steal. <laughs> That'd be lying when they be like, that's a steal. Check steal. this out. Dude offered me $300 for my white 350 Yeezys, size 14 DS, but wants to sell them for $600. Oh, 
low balling piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. These these reviews. I, we need to read more of those, but we run out of time. That's what happened when people come in the game, man. They don't need to be in it. They don't need to be in Agreed. it. Agreed. We need some gay coopers. What? That's what, what? We, do. we need who? Gay keepers. I was gonna say gay clippers. I'm like, no. What? Oh, oh, wow. No. Hey, what does that got to do with oh, it? Oh, Go back and listen to that audio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody heard that but you. (laughs) (laughs) That's what it sounded like you said. Nobody was listening. What city is Prestige in? Somewhere in Oakland, California. Oak Town. Three, five, Uh, six. While he's looking that up. Release dates brought to you by SneakerBarDetroit.com, the number one source of sneaker news and release dates. Friday, April 5th, we have the Atmos Special Edition Nike Air Max 2 Lights, the Nike Carry 5GS, Wolf Grey Line Blast, uh, Nike Air Max 2 Lite, Purple Berry, the Adidas Dame 5, Dame Goose, the Adidas Woman Ultra Boost, Black Orchard Tint, the Adidas Ultra Boost, uh, I guess it's the regular Ultra Boost, uh, Orchid Tint, Cloud White Core Black, uh, you have the Reebok Instapunt Fury, Eco Black, uh, or Echo Black, I'm sorry, and Ar- Under Armour Curry 6, Dub Nation. Anybody, I don't know, that's like one shoe I've never There's seen. There's somebody mentioned Curry, I know like, <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> Saturday, April six. You have the Clot Special Edition Nike Air Max slash Haven Collection. Uh, the Nike KD twelve, the Day One, the Air Jordan Retro fourteen, Candy Cane, not to be confused with the Rip Hamilton PE. The Air Jordan Retro four GS Monsoon. Uh, the Nike Air Foam Posit Pro Hyper Crimson. The Bodega Special Edition New Balance nine nine seven. No days off. This is the general release. The shoe came out. Already via the uh, store. And then you have the Overkill Special Edition Adidas Consortium ZX 10,000C Game Overkill. Um, oh, can you hear my mic? We hear you. You hear me? Okay. All I got to say is prestige be price gouging. Yeah. Uh, Sunday, April 7th, you have the Nike KD 12 uh, Black Pure Platinum White. You have uh, Tuesday, April 9th, you have the Nike Air Max Susan Miss a Link. I think I might actually try to go to go for those. Them hard. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, April 11th, you have the Nike LeBron 3 home. Is this finally going to come out? It seems like I've given like a release date five different times. They pushed, they pushed it back a lot. Yeah. Uh, you have the Nike Women's Air Max 720 Pink Rise, the Nike Women's Air Vapor Max 3.0 Pink Rise, the Nike Women's Air Vapor Max 2019 Pink Rise. Uh, you also have the Nike Air Vapor Max 2019 for, I guess, everybody. Pure Platinum, Black, Volt, and Bright Crimson. The Nike Air Vapor Max 3.0, White Volt. The Adidas Falcon, Collegiate Navy, High Res Green. That shoe, though, I wish it was men's. Uh, you got three colorways of the Adidas Night Jogger. You have Core Black, White, Gray, and Red, and then Gray, White, and Orange. Friday, April 12th, you have the Women's Air Jordan Retro 12 Reptile. Uh, you have the Adidas Night Jogger City Pack. This is a London and Paris release only. And then Saturday, you have April 13th. You have a number of shoes. I want to make sure I got everything. Uh, you got the Nike Air Max 97 Neon Soul, Nike Air Max 97 Shanghai Kaleidoscope, Nike Air Max 1 Tokyo Maze, Nike Air Max 97 London Summer of Love, Nike Air Vapor Max Plus, Paris Works in Progress, Nike Air Max 98, La Mescla, uh, whatever. I, I think I just butchered that. But, you know, whatever. Nike Air Max 720 Saturn. Pure Platinum, Nike Women's Shocks R4, True Berry, and then you have the Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG Crimson Tint. Uh, I should go back and say that on Saturday, April 13th, <coughs> that's the Air Max collection. You know, they let the people design the shoes. And it seems like everybody just opted for the 97s. Like, 98s, no 95s. Are nice 98s are nice, too. The 98s are nice, too, but it's like, like no Air Max 1s, like no 90s, or 95s. I like that one. Which one? The Air Max 1? The Tokyo yeah. Maze? Yes. Yeah. Honestly, my favorite out of the whole thing is the Tokyo Maze Air Max 1 and the Neon Soul Air Max 97. Those are my favorite, too. Uh, I mean, there's not, I don't think there's a bad shoe in this, collect, in this collection, but those are my two favorites. So, anyway, that about wraps up this episode. Um, hopefully, we got a good streak going with the show making it onto the website. Um, <laughs> One made it up last week. <laughs> Pull the plug. Pull the plug. Oh, man. Um, but, yeah, so not for real, though. Um, want to thank everybody once again for continuing to listen to us, tune in, uh, support us, and can't wait for this year to play out the way I 
I have it planned at least. Um, on that note, we'll see you guys next week for episode 210. Yep. Hey. Hey. Peace. Yeah, peace.